Riders in Morganza say a proposition on the December 7th ballot could guarantee the future of the department. News News Sarah Gray Barr sat down with the fire chief to talk about the proposed property tax. Michael, for the past few years, the fire department has been relying on reserve funds and money's running out. That's why this proposition is on the ballot. This is the third time the tax proposal has gone to voters. The chief told me if it doesn't pass this time, operating the department will be difficult. It can make or break the fire department. Point to be Fire District 2 Chief Aaron Edwards said passing the proposition would increase manpower, give the funding necessary to hire more part-time paid firefighters. This would let the department have three people on staff at all times. We are still operating a paid combination fire department off a of volunteer budget. Next year's budget also faces a budget decrease of $30,000, which is a lot of money for District 2. This tax will bring in an additional two ninety seven to basically double our budget. Martin Fry is with the Parish's Fire Board. He's been involved with District 2 for more than 20 years. We've been working with basically the same revenue now for the last 40 years. 30 years ago, a truck might be $100,000 today, a half million dollars. Fry said the money will be coming out of pockets either way. A few dollars uh, additional tax that you can see where your money's being spent and you get the protection or you can allow the protection to go away and expect your insurance premiums to go up. Edwards also said funding from the proposition would help purchase new equipment like air packs for firefighters and building repairs. Like right now, half the station power is working, half of it's not. Uh, we don't have the funds to fully upgrade that, so we just make do. If the proposition doesn't pass, EMS services will be the first to see cuts, losing the paramedics on duty. We don't want to cut that because 80% of our calls are EMS related. Uh, and to have someone who's in cardiac arrest waiting 30 minutes for an ambulance, but before help gets there, uh, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not something that I want to do. If passed, the tax would go into effect in 2025. Michael.